Hi, this video covers a couple of quick tricks to go through a string one character at a time using a for loop. As a prerequisite for this first trick, you'll need to understand the len function. This function takes a single argument and returns the length of that argument. For now, assume that the argument must be a string. Later, you'll learn how to use len with other things. Okay, remember, the maximum possible index in a string is one less than the length. In this case, eight is the highest index we could use. Also, remember that the number in range in a for loop is one more than the highest number that I will reach. In this example, i goes from zero to eight. Okay, take a look at this program. You have a string and you have a for loop. If i goes from zero to eight, what else could it be used for in this program? I don't uh, know. Uh, oh, okay. You can use it as an index. Since it starts out at zero, the first thing printed will be s at index zero, or the letter h. Then, when i becomes one, the thing that gets printed is s at index one, or the letter i, and so on and so forth. Okay, now let's say we decide the exclamation point was a bit too much and we want to get rid of it. We forgot to change the number in range, which means the last index, 8, will be too big. The key is to use the len function inside the range function. Now, even if we change s, the variable i in the for loop will top out at the exact right number. In this case, i starts at 0, and then it goes up to 1, and then it stops there because the next number is 2, which is the length of s. Here's another way of thinking about writing a for loop over a string. The variable in the for loop, i, goes from 0 up to but not including the length of the string. Since this set of numbers conveniently maps to the set of indices in the string, we can just use i as an index in the for loop. Turns out we can also just get rid of the middleman here. What you see in the top right is another type of for loop, where instead of using range after the word in, you can just use a string. The variable name before the word in then gets assigned each letter of the string in succession. The variable is now a string rather than an integer. Nowhere in this for loop do you actually need to directly use indices. Naturally, if you change the string, the for loop still does the right thing. Okay, let's investigate all this in the editor real quick, starting with the len function. So I'm gonna make a string called my string. There it is. And now if I print out len of my string, this will print out the length, which is six. Now I want to reiterate that we can't use 6 as an index. The highest possible index into this string is actually 5. So if I store this in a variable called length, and then I try to print my string at index length, this will try to access my string at index 6, and that'll cause an error because the index is out of range. Now the highest possible index that I could use is actually length minus 1, and this should print the last character of the string, the exclamation point. Okay, now let's write a for loop to print each character in this string. So I'm gonna get rid of this. And first I'm gonna say for i in range. And the thing that goes in range here is len my string. And I'm gonna print my string at i. So this will print my string at zero and then my string at one, etc. I can also just use the variable length here since its value is already the length of the string. And that works too. And then finally, I can just change this and just say my string and change this to letter. And then I can just print out letter. And this variable letter here is going to get set to each character in my string, the H, and then the E, and the L, and so on and so forth. So it should print the same thing. And there it is.